Well, good morning, everyone. <laughs> um, so I'm Ali Vanderzanden with Equality Mean, and this morning I wanted to talk with you a little bit about the Freakonomics of strategic planning <laughs> based on Equality Mean's experience. Um, I just want to start with offering huge gratitude to Fran Hutchins at the Federation and Evangeline Weiss at the Task Force. Thanks to them, Equality Maine has a strategic plan that will bring us from legal equality to lived equality. And better yet, our community thinks that we're on the right path. So that's the good news. So what do you think about when you think about strategic planning? Community input, choosing the important issues to work on, good decision-making processes, consensus, uh, a thumb scale maybe if that's how your organization does this. And that may be true, but our experience puts a counterintuitive twist on all of those things that I wanted to share with you. Starting with community input. So community input is critical. How else will you know what the people that you represent need? But by its very nature, community input is diffuse, right? You all know the joke about belly buttons. Everybody has an opinion. Um, and we uh, collected 700 surveys and did 61 stakeholder interviews. That was a lot of input for us to sift through. And in the end, none of it was conclusive because everybody wants everything. In our survey, we also learned that the most visceral issues were the ones that people rated highest, even when we asked them directly what impacts you and your family's life. So it was the newsy things that got the most support, things like federal marriage discrimination, bullying, and violence. Um, does that mean that Equality Maine should focus on those issues? Not necessarily. Um, in the end, what matters is that you trust your own experience and your knowledge of the landscape and vision, and make sure that you don't substitute input for vision. For instance, if we had chosen federal marriage discrimination, we would be sitting around twiddling our thumbs right now um, and for the next five years. So it was important that we chose long-term issues. Um, next is importance versus impact. As an example, do federal issues matter? Absolutely. But I spent two years trying to get Senator Olympia Snow to vote for health care reform. I, we pulled out all the stops in Maine, and I know that I did not influence her vote. <laughs> Um, at one point in the strategic planning process, we had to vote on our six proposed goals. Four of the goals related to constituencies within the community, LGBT elders, people in rural areas, and the exercise broke down immediately because we were all so uncomfortable choosing between our children, right? And rightly so. It's a perfect example of how you can't vote your way out of decisions. We had to work on all of those issues, and we had to choose where to start. It wasn't about who was important. It was about where we could have the most impact organizationally. Equality organizations like us don't have the same level of influence on every issue. You have to look at impact. Where do you have the most ability to make change and whose life will be affected by the change that you're seeking? To what degree? And then finally, minority rule. We all love democracy, right? Um, but majority rule is not the best way to make big organizational decisions. Yet that's often how these processes work. So the survey response that gets the, the most interest, the idea in committee that has the most votes, um, those are the ideas that make it into the plan. And it's hard to argue against that. But if we had decided our whole strategic plan by majority rule, elder issues would not have been included. And Maine is one of the oldest states, if not the oldest state in the country. Um, one third of our survey respondents were over 60 years old, um, and even same-sex couples who were in their 80s who don't have children, when we asked them what issue most affects you and your family, said things like LGBTQ bullying in schools. Um, one outspoken board member, fortunately, hijacked a committee meeting and made us talk about elder issues and pointed out very rightly that that uh, response had more to do with ageism than it had to do with where we could have an impact. And so with that in mind, we made sure the elder issues were in the plan, and we have an amazing plan actually now to implement that goal that I think is going to have a big impact on LGBT elders in Maine. So if you're a lucky duck who gets to do strategic planning, don't substitute input for vision. Make impact your top priority. And it's okay to let the minority rule. Thank you.